If you would like to know how to create this art journal page, then stay tuned and I will exactly show you how. Hi, here's Max again. Today I want to take you away with me on a dream of the next vacation. And so we are starting right away and lightly adhering a deli paper onto copy paper. I found a swirly image on the web that I'm now printing onto the deli paper. And then I'm adhering this to the journal page by using matte medium gel. For all of you who are interested in the web address, I will link it together with all the other supplies in the info box below. I'm not caring about getting the paper super flat. Wrinkles are very welcome as they are giving some texture to the page. As soon as everything is dry, I'm applying a layer of gesso as a foundation. However, I'm taking some of it off again by using a baby wipe. So the image is just whitewashed but not completely covered. And now bring in the colors. I'm using the Dilution Acrylics again. But this time I decided to really paint with them. I'm usually not painting with acrylic paints, but these colors are so wonderfully vibrant that I simply wanted to give it a try. They are extremely easy to blend and you see me using my finger here to create the wonderful mixture of the colors at sunset. While doing this, I just want to give you a heads up that this video is a cooperation of some European crafty YouTubers again. All members come from Austria, Switzerland and Germany, so even if most of the bits are in German, it's definitely worth a try. And if you like, you will find the links in the description box below. But back to my try of doing a painting. Even if I'm not that talented painter, I wanted to show you the whole process of creating the sunset. Maybe this inspires you to also give it a try with acrylic paints as well. Extremely difficult was the crease in the center of the page, which I'm coloring with my felt markers afterwards. While doing the sand, you can see how beautifully these colors blend on paper. The bright yellow is not very realistic and so I'm mixing it with some droplets of brown and blending it simply with my fingers. And now everything has to dry before I'm using gesso and a form stump to create some spin drift and spray. And then I'm setting this aside and focusing on the front parts. I think a cocktail is most appropriate for the scene and so I'm first sketching a glass onto yellow paper. For the top I'm using a white piece of scrap paper and cutting both into shape before gluing both pieces together. I'm then using some circle dies to create a piece of orange. Here you can see the pieces I'm using for this. I'm pulling out the triangles through the hole in the small circle punch to only round the small edges. Then I'm cutting them in length and adhering them to the bases. For the center I'm using a small circle dot that I'm punching with my cropper die. And now we need a straw. I'm using a small strip of white cardstock for this. Cutting some washi tape in half, I can use it as red stripes on the straw. I'm folding the ends to the back and firmly pressing the tape onto the cardstock. And now all pieces of the cocktail are coming together. I'm cutting the orange so that the glass will show a little bit. By cutting two slots, the orange and the straw will slide into the cocktail. And now everything has to go onto the page. I don't quite like the form of the glass and so I'm cutting it again until I'm content. Oh. 
orange and straw will be adhered with matte medium again and then I'm already cutting back some of the excess. I'm now sealing the page with matte medium and tearing the cocktail onto it in one go. A piece of deli paper will make the interior of the glass stand back a little bit. And then of course I'm sealing the rest of the page. Unfortunately the felt markers are not intense enough and so I'm using the acrylic paints again to create the color gradient of the cocktail. And then it's time for shading. To give the glass some dimension I'm using a brown felt marker and blending it with my moist finger. I'm using orange on the fruit of course and it also helps to create the shades on the surface of the liquid. For the glass itself I'm using light blue and the same technique. The horizon will be done with a dark blue marker that I'm also blending slightly with my finger and here and there some more effects. This time I'm using extra bold letters for the saying because I cannot express enough the most essential thing to do on a vacation. Just relax. After adhering the letters onto the page I'm coloring them with some blue marker to give them a light turquoise look. And also the letters get some shadows to stand out from the page a little bit. Now I'm using my white gel pen to create some waves and the reflections of the sun onto the water. Also the highlights on the glass and fruit are done with this pen as well as the letters that receive a sun bleached look by this. Finally I'm using a stencil and modeling paste to create the illusion of a lacy curtain. To have as many flowers as possible I'm using the stencil in several goes. And a frame of small gel pen strokes concludes the page for today. And of course I have a close up for you to better view the colors and some more details. But then I fear that's it for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired again. And if you did, I would love to get a thumbs up and maybe a comment. If this is your first time here, I would also love to have you subscribe. By this you show me that you like my art and will be immediately notified if a new video is uploaded. If you like some more inspiration, just click on the vids here or use the info cards popping up now. So there's nothing more to say than thank you so much for watching and hope to catch you next time again. Bye bye.